suspicious device right there. It looks like it's totally made from space technology. That must be it. But how are we... Destroy it, Desco! Huh? Desco? Sure, but as a final boss, Desco should build up enough power over time to destroy it with one Big Bang type of thing. Hurry up! Just use a beam or something and destroy that thing already! Sorry, Desco is on it! You suspicious creatures, halt your suspicious activities at once. I have no intention of being called suspicious by some parasites on the moon! Do it, Desco! Don't move. We have no choice but to take appropriate measures if you keep interfering with us. If you really wish to stop the device, you must submit a claim to the Office of Lunar Devices and go through the official channels. Are they out of their minds? There's no time for official channels! The moon is gonna blow up! This is an emergency! That's why we're here! We don't have the time to converse with you aliens! Unable to process. The Earth has agreed to this as well. What is the emergency? Earth agreed? No way! Nobody on Earth would ever agree to this! Well, that may be. However, we've already received approval from the ruler of Earth. Ooh. You mean, Judge Nemo? Then this was all planned by him after all! No, that is incorrect. No? Then who approved of this? The Supreme Conference. Human extinction is the consensus of the 20 billion planets registered under the Pan-Galactic Alliance. What did you say? The hell does that mean? What's a consensus? Basically, many aliens all over the universe have agreed to destroy the moon and drive human beings to extinction. Are you serious? Why would stupid aliens decide to do that? I won't allow it! When you exterminate pests in your house, do you ask the pests for their permission? As if humans were the pests of the universe. I couldn't agree more with that sentiment, but not with the destruction of the moon! The moon shouldn't be sacrificed to kill the human infection! That's right! The current state of the humans is that of harmful pests! That is why I'm going to turn the human world into Hades and re-educate them! being treated as pests by demons and aliens. Humans don't need the power of aliens. What they need is Hades and reformation! That being said, I don't care whether it is the consensus of the Supreme Conference or not. I have no intention of obeying you. Uh, unable to process. Are you going to oppose the entire universe? I sure will. And I'll keep opposing you until you bastards change your decision! What's up, YouTube? Recording a second one tonight, and I'm kind of pissed right now because my PS3 is on the fritz. Apparently, there is such a thing as the yellow light of death, which I didn't even know about. It's not as um, pervasive as the red ring of death for the 360, which I'm quite familiar with. I don't think anyone who isn't. I don't know anybody who isn't familiar with that. Take this. But point is, I can't play my PS3 for quite some time now. It kind of puts me in a pickle. I have one of the good old 60-bit original PlayStation 3s. You know, um, the awesome one, the fat one that still plays PS2 games. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to kind of be pissed if this thing doesn't work anymore. And from what I've... Wow, that didn't kill them even with the 50% bonus increase. Um... I'm okay. I I got the th when I had the 360. 
Um, I got a red ring, but it wasn't the full three rings. It was a it was a single ring, and when I looked it up, it turns out the problem was uh, solved with a simple swap of my component cables. Uh, it was faulty cables, and um, my system ended up working fine. But I was worried about having to send it into Microsoft and having to pay money to get it fixed, and not having it for a while. But fortunately, that that uh, was circumvented. PS3, however, things don't look so good in that regard. Um, you know, I can try calling corporate and seeing if they'll refund, if they'll fix it for free, because, well, it's not my fault the system crapped out on me, it's your f faulty, uh, it's your faulty hardware, and you're, ch and you're trying to cut corners that I have to, I, um, uh, I mean, it's only four years, this, they said the PS3 would have a lifespan of about 10 years until they come out with the PlayStation 4, and that's how long I expect my PlayStation 3 to be working. Uh, and you know, and from what I've seen and what I've looked up for, you know, because I, I researched this for about an hour after it happened, um, the, even the slim versions are getting yellow lights. So they did not learn their lesson, and you know, the, the problem still persists, even with the newer models. So why the fuck should I have to pay over a hundred bucks plus shipping? You know, for to get this this end, you know, go without the PS3 for over a week, uh, just for uh, a problem that was on your hands in the first place. You know, it, you know, that was there because of them in the beginning. I mean, what what is the year warranty on these things anyway? One to two years? You know, that's bullshit. Uh, the warranty should be much better than that. Um. Uh, is that gonna end up, is that gonna affect my let's plays unlikely considering I have a, a few dozen hours of gameplay after this video itself so I'll last a few days Poss probably up to two weeks but I can't do anything else I can't continue to play this guy four because uh, I had like 140 hours maybe and I still have a lot of shit to do in that game I have a lot of characters to, I have a lot of uh, rank 40 weapons to to get and whatnot. And then, you know, there's DLC that will eventually be coming out. Uh, fortunately, I managed to finish playing Arkham Asylum right right before this uh, glitch stopped. I mean, right before the, the system crapped on me, but... Still, my, my point remains. Uh, it, it's your faulty uh, hardware assembly that, that's the problem. I shouldn't have to pay as a result. Not to mention, I, I uh, really like the PS2 compatibility in this and I can't get that anymore in a slim. I mean, yeah, I still have a PlayStation 2, but uh, I played for years on the on the PS3, so and I and I didn't get to transfer the data back onto the PS2 memory card. So that's out that's dozens to hundreds of hours of uh, games just that I don't have access to, you know, just gone if I can't recover it. So I'm pissed. Sorry, that took long enough to sneeze. Ugh. So, I'm going to... Uh, oh, by the way, I, I looked up, you know, fix-it-yourself uh, steps. And this, this shit requires, like, a glue gun and, like, an excess of over 20 steps to disassemble, repair, and reassemble your PS3. And I don't have that much faith in myself. I'm pretty sure I will screw something up. I mean, I don't have to worry about, about voiding the warranty, but... This looks like a very complicated issue, and I will probably fuck something up. Oh, jeez. So maybe if I whine enough to, to corporate and public relations, they'll do me a solid and uh, fix the system because... Uh, I, I, I can't... Uh, uh, I don't want to have to pay for a brand new system. And I, because I would still have to transfer my data somehow anyway, and I can't use the old PS2 uh, data that's on my old system. And you know, I like my system. I want to. I want to keep using it. 
So, we'll see. I mean, admittedly, this system's old. I, I got it. Oh, jeez. Like, March in 2007? You, you know, it's... It's got some gray hairs, but it should still be working fine. That's my point. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to pay for this. Uh, so that's enough about that. So, until this PS3 issue is fixed, um, I obviously cannot do... My next, my next Let's Play cannot be on the PlayStation th system, although I wasn't intending for it to be. So, um, tell you what, I'm probably going to give you guys a small pool of games I'm considering to do a Let's Play of. And you guys can throw your votes in the comments, because I want to hear what games you would like to see me play. Uh, I actually have three in mind that I'm considering right now. Uh, and none of them should take very long. They're not very long games, but they should hold me over until... I should be able to do up just enough until Modern Warfare 3 comes out, which is in two weeks. Um, I would probably upload it simultaneously to my Disgaea 4 videos just to get more content out. But here, here are the three games I'm thinking of. Uh, the very first is Beautiful Joe. Uh, God save you if you have not heard of that game, but I effing love Beautiful Joe. I, the original on the GameCube, I have beaten uh, about five times, I would say. Uh, I've beaten it with every character, and I've beaten it on the hardest difficulty, Ultra V setting. So I know what I'm doing with that game. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good, and I could go through it pretty quickly. And I think it would be—it's a super fun ass game to play if you haven't seen it. Uh, you know, if you play Marvel vs. Capcom 3 or Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, you you might have seen Joe there. But uh, the game's awesome. I could probably do the—I could probably beat the whole game in maybe four, four or five hours. So. Maybe even less. So it would it wouldn't be that hard. Uh, it, it shouldn't be that hard. I could do it pretty quickly. Uh, the the other one is Vanquish, and that's made by the guys that made Beautiful Joe. And if you maybe you've heard this little game called uh, Resident Evil 4, one of the best games of all time. Uh, Shinji Mikami directed it, and he directed this game as well. So, just picture a futuristic, non-horror, but much more fast-paced and intense version of Devil May... Of Devil, of, sorry, <laughs> Devil May Cry. Uh, Resident Evil 4. The, it's... The, Control-wise, it is the best third-person action shooter, bar none. The action is relentless, uh, it's fast-paced, it's really... It's super... It feels super good to play. Um, I, I just fucking love, uh, I think Shinji Mikami's a great director, and I love any game made by Platinum Studios or Clover. Uh, they're pretty similar. So I'm highly considering that. Uh, I've, I've, I've played it through twice, although I'm not as good as it as it was at Beautiful Joe, but, uh, that's to be determined. Um, I, I, I could probably still play it on easy just to get through the game. Um... Uh, it, it also should it should also only take about four to five hours, especially on easy mode. And the last one I'm considering is oh, what was that called? Um, oh yeah, Enslaved. Enslaved is by the people that made Heavenly Sword. It's it's a plat it's a third person action game uh, that came out like two years ago. No, last year, 2010 actually. I think uh, it didn't sell very well. Uh, I don't think a whole lot of people know about it, but it looks pretty good. I haven't played it before, so it would be a it would be my third game I'm playing blind. But uh, I don't I hear it's not terribly long. It's based off the Journey to the West. Um, so I think I think it looks pretty interesting, and it might be pretty good to play. And that's about all I know of it. Uh, it, it looks pretty good. Uh, I played the demo, and um, while I. I, I like Devil May Cry 4 and Bayonetta and a bunch of other games more in, in terms of third-person action. Uh, I th the story seems pretty interesting, and it played well enough. Uh, so those are the three games. Beautiful Joe, Vanquish, and Enslaved. Uh, look them up, do some research, tell me which one you think I should play, 
and I might get uh, started on recording it as early as tomorrow, maybe even two days from now, because we're closing in on the, the end of this guy four, and I wouldn't mind uh, having an excuse to play uh, Enslaved. I mean, I bought it a few months ago, I never actually got around to playing it. And I, I just fucking love Vanquish and Beautiful Joe. So, either of those would be good. Um, give me a vote. And I will decide which one to play. It should be very entertaining. I'll, pro I'll promise to do it as best I can. Why is this chapter not over yet? Oh, right. In these chapters, you have to destroy these uh, ignition devices. So, uh, oh, sorry I didn't do a character. But, uh, honestly, I was, just, I was just too pissed and frustrated to do one. Uh, also, I, I need to look through the guide again to the, to figure out which class I didn't do yet. There's maybe one or two generic classes left, and I have to and I have to figure out what it is. Uh, remind me if I've done the Nekomata or the dog yet. I think I've done the dog. I don't think I've done the Nekomata, but honestly, I can't remember. You're gonna have to enlighten me. And that's pretty much it. Wow, that thing's still alive. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Beautiful Joe, Vanquish, and Enslaved. I would like to play one of them before Zelda and Modern Warfare 3. Fortunately, neither of those require the PlayStation 3, so I don't have to worry about that. Hopefully, I can get this thing sorted out, and it won't cost me much, because I am running out of money. <laughs> I spent so much on this shit. Oh, boy. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I love how I'm doing this super huge combo when it's not a boss or anything, it's just a block. They can't even attack back. We just have to kill the thing. How weird does that look? I'd like to play more this guy at four, but just can't do it. Just can't do it. And yes, if you destroy this block before you destroy all the enemies, you will still clear the map. I'm actually surprised I'm going this high in the combo list and I still haven't killed it yet. Holy shit, how much health does this thing have? Wow. Never mind, I was not destroying that before I destroyed the rest of the enemies. That's insane. I can't believe how much health this thing has. My greatest fight is with an inanimate block. <laughs> oh, you are so fucking dead. All is for a fucking ignition device. You lose! Good day, sir! has been destroyed. No. What's gonna happen to us? Please, no black hole. If it goes out of control and creates a black hole, everything will be over. Don't worry about it. This is my dream, guys. Calm your ass down, lass. Aren't you the girl who aims to take over the world? Well, that was back when I was five. Sometimes I really admire how strong you guys are in times of crisis. Lady Archangel, please grant us protection. It's 
stopped. The explosions are over. My lord, looks like we've won our bet. Hmm. We've successfully stopped the destruction of the moon. Nope, not yet. Sorry, there's actually another ignition device somewhere else. You can't stop the destruction until you turn that one off, too. This man, how did he come to the moon even though he's human? He was visiting the netherworld, too. I'm sure he has ways to get to the moon. Judge Nemo! I heard you approved this plan. Hey, you! How dare you approve this without my consent? Now, now, calm down. Humans are destined to go extinct. They're nothing but the pests of the universe, so naturally, aliens have decided to exterminate them. And just destroy the Earth? Why sacrifice the moon along with them? Well, the only thing they want to get rid of are the humans. They're gonna reuse the Earth later, so they don't want to make a big mess. Recycling a planet? Whoa, aliens think on such a large scale. But destroying the moon will affect more than just the humans. Didn't they think about that? We're talking about a universal scale here. I'm sure they don't care if a small sacrifice has to be made. Some workers were even complaining about how much of a pain it would be to exterminate only the humans. No, that's horrible. That's when Judge Nemo came around. Destroying the moon would have been done a long time ago, but I held it off for a while. I convinced them at the Supreme Conference that my plan would work better, and it would cause less damage to the Earth. It wasn't all that hard to convince the universe to go with my plan, since it was going to end with the same results. But you guys ruined my Earth-friendly plan. And that's why the moon is getting blown up? Why are you trying to pin this all on us? But it's true, you know. If you guys didn't interfere with my plan, the Earth would have been left unharmed. This discussion is pointless. We have no intention of destroying the Moon or the Earth. No matter what aliens intend to do by playing God, we're not going to give in so easily. I won't allow some... Aliens to evaluate and judge the future of our worlds! Yeah, but... Palvatores, aren't you doing the exact same thing? Judging and evaluating? But the scale of the Supreme Conference is much, much bigger than yours. Watch your filthy mouth, human. No matter how big the scale is, it doesn't matter if it's wrong. My lord is offering to help those pests that were forsaken by some moronic aliens. That's the scale of a true ruler. A ruler who only knows how to discard. <laughs> You're placing your inadequacies on a pedestal and posing as a god. How irritating. My lord's absolute violence will surely break that rotten scale of yours and your incompetent simpletons. And let the universe know. The legitimacy of Tyrant Valvatores' scale! Well said, Fenric. You flatter me. <laughs> Demons preaching about righteousness, huh? This is just sad. It's as if I'm watching a bad comedy. I'm a little embarrassed by how obsessive Fen Fen is about Valzi. As usual. Still, I agree with them. Fuka Kazumatsuri totally supports Valzi. Desko gives her support to Mr. Valzi as well. Forget those unknown aliens. As a representative of the Netherworld, I support him as well. I'm sure Father feels the same way too. By celestial law, angels are forbidden to support demons. But I support Mr. Vampire as well, as an individual. Hmm. <laughs> Well, then I have no choice but to respond to all of your support. I promise all of you here, I will stop the destruction of the moon and save the Earth! This shall be my declaration to the entire universe! This is my manifesto! A demon will save the Earth. Sure, go ahead and try it. And then realize how useless you really are. <laughs> <laughs>
You won't save a single soul. Just like that one time. That one time? What was he talking about? 